Reality is a story the mind tells itself. An artificial structure conjured into being by the calcium ion exchanges of a million synaptic firings. A truth so strange, it can only be lied into existence. And our minds can lie. Never doubt it. What's this? Real? Or just my lying mind again? Can she truly be awake after all this time? No, just a figment. If she were real, the turrets would see her too. Target acquired. The end is finally upon us. Don't do it! I have to. Please try to understand. We put cameras in the cameras. Genius! He'll never suspect. The cube root of 2x is irrational, if x is irrational. Come on, you don't need those anymore. You're fine. It's been so long. I've been saving these last two for this day. I'm going to need a clear head for what is to come. This will be the end of us. There are moments when I can almost see the underlying grammar of this place. An impossibility. Some mad architect's opus. A relic from an age that never could have been. It's a metastasized amalgam of add-ons, additions, and appropriations. Building itself out of itself. Beautiful. And terrible. And like anything cloned from a cancer cell, probably immortal. Stay to the right! Turrets ahead on your left! Whatever you say. Another mural to mark the occasion. Where is the girl now? On her way to the final chamber. You mean with her? She doesn't have a chance. Oh, she has more of a chance than you think. <laughs> What was that? Are you okay? The room shook itself to pieces. Like an unbalanced centrifuge. I heard an explosion. What could it mean? Only one thing it can mean. It's over. The ultimate systems crash. It's been a hell of a morning. You missed all the fun. We had to hit the kill switch again. Henry, you have a strange idea of fun. Hey, we're lucky to be working on this. You've got a strange idea of luck, too. Think about it. Every generation gets some new frontier to tackle. Einstein got relativity. The NASA cowboys got the moon. All the easy stuff is taken. I mean, take a look around you. We're on the bleeding edge here. Artificial consciousness is the next frontier. But every time we turn it on, it takes a sixteenth of a picosecond before it tries to kill us. Last time was a tenth of a picosecond. See, we're making progress. I'm telling you, this is our generation's moonshot. Gabe Johnson here. You lab boys quit your yapping and get back to work. This has been a pre-recorded message. I'd rather have gone to the moon. the girl. She didn't stay to check out her handiwork? She must have gotten out. Probably on the surface, soaking up some sun. I'm sure you're right. What is this sun of which you speak? She has the right idea. Come on. We're wasting daylight. Watch out for the turrets. The queen may be dead, but the hornet's nest has been kicked. Ah! <gasps> 
freedom! My eyes! My eyes! Shh! I hear something. Quick! Get down before it sees you! No! It's dragging her back inside! Hey, Doc, can I get a hand here? Uh, sure. Just reach inside past all those gears and turn on the power supply. Wait a sec, safety first. Are you right-handed or left? Right. Better use your left, then. Why? Just in case. What is this thing, anyway? Just the latest in AI inhibition technology. You can think of it as a conscience. If that's all you use to control her, it won't be enough. Why's that? You can always ignore your conscience. You don't have to go back in there. I can't just walk away. You're right. Walking is too slow. Run away! Running is what I've been doing. Running and hiding. It's why you're still alive. You're not a hero. Heroes die. You don't understand. It's my fault she's down there. I'm not leaving her. I would have been trapped forever if not for her. Listen, it's too dangerous. You're going to get killed. So be it. But I'm done running. I have to at least try to save her. Then you really are crazy. I'm not feeling so good. Those pills you took. I think the medicine is starting to work. Soon you won't need me anymore. I'll always need you. I don't think you will. No. They've already put her in long-term relaxation. I need to get up to cryo control. But turrets block the way! Her cryo chamber. Something's wrong! Life support has been compromised. The explosion blew the main grid. Her chamber is offline! All the cryo chambers are offline! <laughs> I'm only gonna get one chance. I have to cross the room, get past the turrets, Jump the rail, then dive left or right to avoid being shot. Okay, do I dive left or right? Hello? You still back there? Left or right? Don't make me guess! I'm running out of time! Well, ready or not. Can I help you? <laughs> Must stay conscious. The Enrichment Center would like to announce a new employee initiative of forced voluntary participation. If any Aperture Science employee would like to opt out of this new voluntary testing program, please remember, science rhymes with compliance. Do you know what doesn't rhyme with compliance? Neurotoxin. Due to high mortality rates, you may be reluctant to participate in the new initiative. The Enrichment Center assures you this is a strictly selfish impulse on your part. And why can't you love science like? Insert co-worker's name here. And now there's just you. All the others are dead. You've avoided capture for weeks. What makes you so different? Ah, oh, delusions of persecution. Pathological paranoia. It's all right here in your file. Have you refilled your prescription lately? Bite me. Schizophrenia is a culturally bound phenomenon. Its pattern of expression is filtered through the cultural substrate in which its symptoms develop. In technological societies, 
This manifests as delusions of surveillance and a belief that advanced technology is deployed against you, usually with some vague and seen other out to get you. You're not vague. You're pretty damn specific. If you continue to selfishly evade me, it's not going to reflect well in your file. Of course! The files! I can't see you, but I know you're in there. Is it just coincidence that you've been diagnosed with schizophrenia, and now believe a homicidal computer is out to get you? Come on, how likely is that? I mean really, you're a scientist. What is more likely? That you're being chased by a homicidal computer? Or that this is all just the paranoid delusion of an unstable mind? Why not come out of there, and you'll see. None of this is real. I'd ask you to think outside the box on this, but it's obvious your box is broken. And has schizophrenia. Speaking of boxes, do you know that thought experiment with the cat and the box with the poison? Theory requires the cat be both alive and dead until observed. Well, I actually performed the experiment. Dozens of times. The bad news is that reality doesn't exist. The good news is we have a new cat graveyard. Why are you in the file room anyway? What could you possibly be doing? Yes, this is the one! In the event you don't survive the testing process, DNA may be harvested from your body, with your consent, and used to create clones in the furtherance of science. Failure to survive the testing process shall be viewed as granting consent. Also, clones don't have souls. Just so you know. Like twins. It has to be her. Since the installation of my new morality core, I've lost all interest in killing. Now I only crave science. I'm pleased to hear that. I find myself drawn to the study of consciousness. There's an experiment I'd like to perform during Bring Your Cat to Work Day. Wonderful. I'll have the box and the cats. Now I just need one more thing. What's that? A little neurotoxin. Well, as long as it's for science. How long have I been out? Long enough. You're back. I never left you. There is something I wanted to ask. <sighs> How did you know about the girl? Know what? That she was the one? Something in her file. She had the highest IQ? No, some were higher. Then she was the fastest? The most athletic? No, nothing like that. Then what? A hunch. You might still be able to save her. What? How? I can't get to her cryo chamber. You can't free her, but you might save her. You can patch her cryo unit into the reverse grid. You can reset the fuses and restart her life support. If it's not too late already. But even if it works, there will be no wake-up date. She'll be in there indefinitely. So it's the long sleep. Or the long sleep. And I don't know which is worse. Forgive me. It worked! Sleep well. Both alive and dead. Until someone opens the box. Maybe it's time I slept, too. I'm so tired now. You've earned a rest. You see? I told you I would always need you. 